So today, quick video, going to be doing LED strip lighting round inside this bunk. So when the kiddies stay in it, um, they can have it all lit up different colours. LED track first, then a bit of power out of the cupboard. Don't know if you can see that down there. That is not the correct thing to use on a boat. That is a 240 volt junction box. No, no, no. But I can't really do much about that. Um, I'll just bring off a fused connection up to a USB socket and a feed up to these lights. USB socket's gonna go up next to that shelf. Um, lights are gonna go around the top. Fitting. Right, first job is to get some of this track and as you can see, I drill it out. Um, it does, does come with these little clamps. These are the clips it comes with that you screw to the wood and then it clips to it. I prefer just to screw directly to. And in fact, I think I'm going to use a bit of adhesive along this as well because there's going to be kids sleeping in here and there's going to be feet being stuck up the walls and all sorts. So let's make sure it's stuck on now. Pretty good. So I need to drill some holes and some links of this. Little drill bit, drill. Oh, it's gone in all funny. That's it, and then drill all these bits out. Same as that. Push D. It, repeat more times boom that's it i'm gonna need to trim some of these so so i'm gonna need to add some holes in some extra places right let's stop putting it up 745 they're about cutting So much quicker than an axe or testing one of them right now. So, yeah, beautiful. Come on, where are ya? Uh, a little bit of this. Like so I want it to be extra stuck because of where it is in a kiddie's bed. I need a little bit on there, I don't need to all be squeezing outside, just to help matters along a little bit. Beautiful, right, stick it up there. Right, four screws and a bit of um, adhesive in there. Um, she's never coming down. Ready? First piece up. A bit more OB1 adhesive. Again, just a little bit. I'm gonna go too crazy with it. Another piece. Cut a little bit for that in the end now and come across to here. Boom. Trim the hole off, ain't I? Again, drill another hole. Bosh. Right, so that's that bit up along there. Then I've got to just come along the edge here. And then that's where my power was going into. So my, my light strip is going to come out here all the way around and finish up in that corner. Right, so I've made a little hole. Right, so I've got my little piece of track in now. I've got my sensor there. I'll just tuck him out of the way for a minute. I've used a bit of tape to just hold the little control box on the inside of the cupboard there. I've got my tape now. I've started the peeling process, which is a pain. I'll poke him through there so I can connect it to the little control box again inside the cupboard at the moment i've got that led connection you can't really see that well got that double sided because it comes with double sided sticky tape on it got that taped off there so then i can go and do this connection here send a bit of power to this box fix that to the wall i'll probably fix that to water the wall to cover up that little bit of ratty ratty wire in there that someone's done um right next right all that's left to do now is to go along peel the backing off stick this into this rail all the way around um, and then trim it off when we get round to here that's it, that's starting to go in there now peeling it and sticking it at the same time he says 
that you get the idea. To do this, make sure that when you put the tape in, it's folded right tight into the corner, so otherwise you won't get your lid done. Right, so that's my LED strip stuck in all the way around. And then I've got to the end, and ooh, I've got a little bit of spare. It's clever stuff because every now and again it's got these little sections where you can cut it with a pair of scissors. Um, if I was to cut it there, it'd be too long. So I mean, my most sensible place to cut it is just on this one and I'll tuck that end away and that's that put to bed. Just got to put the cap on then. Cut right through them. Oh God. That's it. And get that end. Go oh, all in a tiny little bunk bed. That be me now, and when that's when that tops on, you won't even notice that, that light doesn't finish into that corner. Doesn't matter. There's going to be plenty of light down here now. That's for sure. Right. So the next job is to put the capping on, or the diffuser strip, should I say? But it comes with this soppy bit of plastic that needs tearing off of it. That's quite annoying to get off. So do that. Clip that in all the way along. Just get your full length, stick it in there, like that, you get the idea, clip it in, I can do it, here we go, and it just snaps in, all the way along, it's a good bit of stuff, it does make, it does make these diffuser strips a lot more bearable to look at, if you look back in one of my other videos, I'll put them under the gunnels as well, um, which does make them look quite nice. I've done the gunnels in this one the other day, actually. Right, repeat that. He says, repeat that all the way around. Maybe days. When I cut this, just use a pair of side cutters. Make a little scratch on it. Make sure they're square. Trim it off. Jobs are good. Peel the plastic off. Voila! Right, so there's the strip with all the capping on, the diffuser, all the way around, all the way up here, behind my head, back into the corner there. Um, all I've got left to do now is the connections for it. My next job is I'm going to put a USB socket in here that takes 12 volt from the boat, turns it down to 5 volt, charge your phone, whatever else you want to do with it. Let's do that next. Right, one hole. One USB charger socket in there, stick the lock nut on the back of it, happy days. Right, so here we go then. I've got an inline fuse on the bottom of that, in the bottom of that cupboard there, that does the feed up to the back of that socket. And the lights, look at that, it looks like we're ready for lift off. Awesome. There's red, green, blue, white. I mean, white's quite nice just for reading with orange, yellow, cyan, purple. Jump one, jump seven, feed three. Oh, that's quite pleasant. Feed three, feed seven. I mean, it is like a disco in here. Um, um, I reckon, see on this remote here, there's like a little music symbol. I reckon there's something in the little control box while I've put in the cupboard there that listens to the music. I reckon, something that detects the beat and will flash the lights accordingly. So anyway, look at that. If you have a little sweep up, put the mattress back, jobs are good. Right, one last gratuitous look. I've put the mattress back, that's it. Some little kiddie on their holiday will be well happy under there. I've got a USB socket now to charge with. <laughs> up in there with a cover on it so it can cover the blue light up that's permanently on on it. And a little reading lamp. What more do you want? Home time. Go and open the parcel I've been sent. Yes. Jobs are good. And it's fused. Right, so here we go then. Some very nice person has sent me another package. Look at that. i got a feeling... It might be something to do with this hole in my trousers that's been growing recently. I don't know whether you've seen it on any of the videos. So let's open it up and have a look. Ah, that's amazing of you, whoever you are. Thank you very much. Let's have a little look. Oh, prezzies. 
crazies. Someone has taken the time to parcel this up and spend real money and send it to me. That's just incredible. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, some gloves. Wow. Oh, we, oh, welding gloves and some work gloves and some rubber gloves with some poop. Oh, the welding gloves are amazing. Look at them. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Two narrowboat hands. Oh, here we go. We have watched your blog part four and noticed your gloves were very worn and wet. I had these spare and hope they will help your poor, wet, cold little hands. We enjoy your vlogs very much and look forward to watching them as you are down to earth, funny and hard working guy. How's the chooks? Keep safe, Dave and Sue. Oh, thank you so much, Dave and Sue. That is just amazing of you. I'll show you how the chooks are. I've just come out here. And they think I've got treats for them. Look, hey girls, say hello. We've got some special things coming for you next week. We're gonna have a chicken house upgrade and uh, I'm gonna film it. I've bought you a shed, girls. I've bought you a whole shed. I've bought you a six foot long shed, all for yourself. We're gonna put your perches in here and we're gonna put your nesting boxes in there and we're gonna make it amazing and get you tucked up ready for the winter because I don't think that is enough for them for the winter now they need over cover i'm going to put a roof on this instead of this plastic i'm going to put some sides on it i'm going to put them a shed here it's going to be amazing so there you go say hi girls hi girls one more time thank you so much dave and sue that is amazing and i'm glad you're enjoying my little videos thank you so much cheers